Hello and welcome back to another short video. Uh, this one is aimed at the people who for some reason really, 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 really hate heat pumps. Even though they're just literally a heating system in people's houses. Uh, I don't understand where that comes from, but like electric vehicles, heat pumps are really dividing opinion. You don't have to buy one. It's just, it brings out the worst in people. I've literally had some very nasty things, even borderline death threats because I did a video that was positive about a car or a heat pump. Anyway, this is aimed squarely at you, to this person here, or this person here, or this person here. Basically, I could show any of hundreds of those over the last few months since I got the heat pump, where they're all saying the same thing. Wait till winter. I can't wait till winter. Wait till your house is an ice box. Well, right now, it's snow on the ground, it's minus three and a half. It was minus five-ish at night. Um, and it has been for a week or so. It will be for at least another week or two, or who knows how long. And, um, well, this is winter. This is the time you've been waiting for. And also the time I've been waiting for. So let's just mosey on inside the house, shall we? And see what the temperature is like. Hmm. 20.7 degrees. That's exactly what I set it to. Well, I actually set it to 20.5, so it's a little bit too warm in this room. But, oh, and before anyone says, look, look I'm, not, I'm not sat on it, I'm not going to down my pants to make it look warmer in the house. I have never said everybody go out and get a heat pump. I've never said that they are financially viable for a lot of people. They're not, quite frankly, they're very expensive. And although for us, it does make sense because of the other stuff we've got in the house, solar, home battery and so forth. Now, some people get heat pumps for other reasons. It could be environmental, getting rid of gas, you don't have gas, whatever you want to get it for, that's up to you. I mean, people don't look at how much is it going to save me for other things. You, no one ever says, I've just spent £5,000 on a holiday, when am I getting my money back? Or, I've just installed a kitchen, when's that going to save me enough money to pay for itself? Some people just want what they want. There are genuinely lots of people in the comments, again, who think I'm getting paid by either Valent, who make my heat pump, or a some sort of Illuminati sort of green energy lobby. Yes, that's that's exactly what there is. There's a, co a cabal of people out there who have more financial muscle than the oil industry who pay small YouTubers such as myself to essentially say positive things about things like heat pumps and solar panels. That, that's exactly what happens and why I'm doing this. This video, as I said, is purely to answer the question of does a heat pump work in winter? Now that question never ever made sense because they've used them for decades in much colder countries such as Scandinavian countries. Uh, so again, the logic behind that question isn't, well, it, it isn't there. My radiators are at 40 degrees. Let me put a, a snapshot up here. You can see the floor temperature, 40. That's what the radiators are at. And yet my house is still warm. I haven't got underfloor heating. I haven't hyperinsulated anything. It's the same insulation as we had with the gas boiler. We haven't got underfloor heating. You don't need that. It's better with that, it's more efficient, but it will still heat your house up. The technology works. It's been working in your fridge and your freezer for, again, decades. So if you're one of those that thinks, again, that they don't work, again, they, they, they might not make financial sense. That's not, an, that, I'm not arguing with that. I'm wondering about whether the technology itself works. It does. I can pump them up, the radiators, I mean the temperature, 70 degrees, which is hotter than anybody will ever need in a house. My gas boiler, I think, was set to 55, 50, 55. A lot of people set them to 60. So someone doing a bad install, it will cost you a lot of money. And that is what is ruining the heat pump reputation. Crap installers, quite frankly. People who don't do heat calculations beforehand. People who don't put any effort into it. They just take the boiler out, put the heat pump in and think it'll work. I obviously can't give you the full winter costs because we're not at the end of winter yet. Now, I will say that yesterday, which was between minus two, I'd say minus one and minus four during the day and night, I would say it's probably looking at about 23, four kilowatt hours, maybe 26, I guess, if I include the hot water. So that's a lot of electric, but it's a lot less than the gas. And with the other stuff I've got, financially, again, it makes sense. And even if it doesn't make sense, for a week or two or three of the year, it will probably cost us more than a gas boiler would, as in other houses that don't have the stuff we do. But for the other 49 weeks of the year, it's more efficient. 
So it's about averages. Over the year, it makes sense. So anyway, that's all. I'm, I'm rambling. This is meant to be a short video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you soon. Any comments and questions, especially if you think that heat pumps don't work in winter, please let me know.